Hi friends, Marin with Into Mobile. Today we're going to look at the LG Revolution. As you can see on the back, it's a 4G LTE phone. It's their third phone that can access the 4G LTE network, which gives you blazing fast speeds. But let's go on a quick hardware tour first. As you notice, you have a 4.3 inch capacitive touchscreen. Big, beautiful, 480 by 800 resolution. Pretty good so far. On the bottom, you have your standard Android buttons. Menu, Home, Back, and Search. These are capacitive buttons. Uh, moving along the spine, you have a silver trim here. Doesn't do much besides add some class to it, I guess. You have an HDMI out port here that you have to pull open. I don't like this little plasticky part when you do it. Volume rocker. Moving to the top, there's the power unlock button and a standard headphone jack. On the other spine, you have more of the silver trim and you have the micro USB port, which you also have to pull out. Don't, don't like that feel. I'd rather have just an exposed port or something like Samsung's doing with a solid, solid door, but that's me. Silver trim, more there, bottom, microphone. Moving on to the back, you have the branding as we see and it's a plastic back but it doesn't have a cheap feeling to it at all. It's actually pretty hard and tough and feels good in the hand. Overall the phone's a little bit bulky but that's to be expected with 4G LTE stuff because the modules are bigger right now. You have the LG branding, Verizon, 4G LTE, you have a 5 megapixel camera there which can do 720p recording and you have your flash. Oh, I also didn't mention there's a 1.3 front facing camera right on the face, as you would expect, next to the Verizon branding. So let's pop open this cover, which you can do at the bottom. Comes off easily. I noted it's a plastic, but it still feels good. Then you have your, what is that, a 1500 milliamp battery, and you have their 4G LTE SIM card, because these things use SIM cards for 4G. And then here's the micro SD card, Unfortunately, not hot swappable, but hopefully with things like Google Music, you won't really need to do that. So that's a quick hardware tour of the LG Revolution. We'll have a full review for you shortly. Thanks. So how does the LG Revolution hardware stack up to some of the other 4G LTE phones? Well, we have a charge here. Uh, there's no charge in it, ironically enough. But if you just want to look, the it's... They're actually roughly about the same depth. The Revolution is probably a bit a bit thicker, but the the charge has this contoured back which makes it feel smaller in your hand, whereas the Revolution is just kind of a big block. That's okay. That's okay though because this back plastic does feel uh, a bit cheaper than the Revolution does. I also like this band down the middle that LG's been doing with its latest high-end phones. So, there you go, 4G, 4G LTE phones on Verizon. No Thunderbolt on me right now, or else I'd show you that one too.